what we're doing is we're taking our partner force lessons learned and our lessons learned and putting them together so that, especially for us in the United States Army, we can work in an environment that is unfamiliar to us with unfamiliar equipment. And it gives us a very different perspective of what we may see in other countries with the local national population. The benefits to the soldiers that have never deployed before coming to a place like Ghana allows them to experience some of the types of injuries they may see in a deployed theater, but it also allows them to see what to do in a limited resource environment. So we learn to experience emotionally what it's like to be or have your hands almost tied behind your back and what those emotions feel like and because it is a thing that you have to process through and it's also part of that readiness. This is even though sometimes it seems chaotic, it is a, somewhat of a controlled environment whereas when you get into times of more distress it can be uncontrolled and how do we manage that as a team as well as personally. I think it's important that we're here working with our African counterparts because we're sharing experiences. It's not us teaching them or them teaching us. We are sharing our experiences together, how we both have different backgrounds, different ways of practicing, and improving each other's equally. We're here to see how our Ghanaian folks are able to treat their patients in the midst of logistical constraints. We also tell them how we would have done certain things if it were back in the States. It's a very humbling experience. It makes you appreciative of everything that you have at home as well as it teaches you that you can get by with less than what you are already working with and that sometimes you just need to be resourceful and you need to look for the solution instead of waiting for a solution to come to you. In order to keep this flame burning, that's why this mission existed so that we can maintain that cordiality between the two countries so that we can share ideas, partner each other. Like taking my time out of the hospital to teach and better people has meant so much to me and solidified why I choose why I do what I do, uh, why I chose to be a nurse because it's to better people and make people brighter, help their days up. I've gotten a lot from that, making my heart kind of swell and pull my heartstrings that, you know, I'm, I'm bettering people over here that need it the most.